I'm here at Seabase facility in the Netherlands in a city called Oos. Today we're going to do a quick print to test out some material for one of their clients. You can see the printer, the robotic arm over there. The control unit here operated from a laptop and a mobile unit connected with wires to the control unit printer and laptop. Then the mixer and pump over here. We can cover the different activities that are happening to make this print possible. It's actually surprisingly easy. Over the past two days, I was able to train with one of their instructors and learn most of the process. Hello, I'm Mark. I'm working at Ciba for about four years now, a little bit less. Uh, I've been working on a lot of projects, building up experience, just getting familiar with the system, working with myself. Uh, as a result of that, I have also learned a lot about how it works and how to make things work for others as well. They made me training and support manager over the years, uh, and that's what I'm working on right now, to teach other people how to work with the system in a safe way uh, and end up with good blueprints. For the past few days, I've been training Jared on the system. He's already made a lot of progress. He's actually already able to get printable material, to put everything on the system and make sure that it looks uh, that the print itself is working the way it should be working. Uh, and now it's about building up the experience, first assisting us, then he's going to take the lead and has us assisting him. And at some point he will sort of take, is going to take the lead and let us do the work for him pretty much. For this model, since everything is currently in completely uh, 90 degree corners, it means that the robot would slow down a little bit on those corners, which results in excess material. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to add a few uh, fillets to the corners. Um, so that way we can uh, have a bit more of a rounded corner, which should result in a more smooth print. Now that the file's been sliced into G-code, they do a dry run to make sure the first and last layers run smoothly. If there's any issues, you can edit the G-code and then retry. It's important to set a good origin point, a starting point, and ending point for the print. In the beginning, you have to get the material mix right, and in the end, it's really just about making sure you don't get concrete everywhere as you empty the hose and prepare for the clean process. Now they're starting the setup of the mixer. First, you run water and the additive through to lubricate the tube, and then you start gradually including the material in the mixer. The material is loaded to the top. Test the material by just looking at it and then touching it. When it's strong enough, you can feel it builds up kind of a solid core. This means it will be able to support the next layer of concrete being printed on top of it. This is critical. After a few layers, it's completely hard, but even the first layer needs to be strong enough to support the second.
were successful, now you do the cleanup process. You have to empty the hoses. By increasing the water content and the additive, you're able to make it more flowable. And then you put these little orange balls through the hose. They clean everything out completely. We did a little bit of processing during this print by running a sponge over the layers to give a smooth finish. There were also a couple issues with the first print. It was going a little too fast, so the layers were a little bit thin, and the additive was maybe a little bit too liquid. This caused a little bit of a collapse, but for the second flower pot, we were able to slow down the speed of the printer and increase the solidity of the mix, which made it come out much better than the first one. So we've turned on the pump and we have the water flowing at 100%, the additive flowing at 100%. Now we wait for it to get through the hose and once it's flowing, we'll turn on the machine and start slowly adding material to the mix. All the way down? Yeah. All right, okay. Now we've got the material flowing at 100% so we taper down the water levels and the additive levels in preparation for our final print values. Just to be sure everything is going fine. got the water and the additive flowing at 100%. Once the material starts coming out of that hose at a regular pace, we'll start slowly introducing material to the mix until it becomes colored and starts flowing at a regular pace. Then we got to get it solid enough to make printable lines. Now that the print's done, we're using some of the leftover material to fill up the bottom of these planters. The bottom doesn't need to be printed, so you just use the excess material that would have otherwise gone to waste and pour it in. It'll harden like regular concrete. It's just a, the same mortar as we printed with, with a little more water and a little more additive. And it'll harden on its own, creating a smooth, flat bottom for the base. Maybe zoom in on the transition. And the 
printing time and stating says uh, it should be over an hour. But uh, this is very conservative, and in the end it's probably going to be about 50 minutes, so a bit under an hour. I did try to avoid putting it as much as possible to the side, so anything that does fall down falls down in cavities where we want to have uh, concrete anyway. Uh, just to try and make it as, uh, as aesthetic and pleasing as possible. I also did increase the transition width a little bit more than what we normally would, so 50 instead of 40. Which means that uh, the top the transition that's occurring between one layer to the next layer should be a bit more smooth, a bit less visible. Like before we test the core strength of the material before printing to make sure all the parameters, the water levels, the additives are in at the right ratios. You test this by just getting a small sample of the material and then touching it. When you touch it, it should have a firm core. Even though the outside is a little bit liquid, even if I press pretty hard, the inside is fairly solid and it sticks. This print is almost done. Look how tall it is. It's two and a half meters, which is more than I've seen any other company able to print all at once. 